Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to put my bow tie pattern together and then we're gonna create another bow tie with elastics. Now, my full pattern does include materials needed, how to use the pattern, and also pictures to show you how to put the bow tie together. Now, after you printed your pattern, it'll look something like this and it'll be three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Now, this two by two box is not a part of the pattern. It's just there to make sure that you print it out correctly. If you print it out correctly, it'll measure two by two. Now, how to cut it. Okay, y'all, don't stress y'all sales out about cutting out this um, pattern. You can either cut on the outside, you can cut in the center, you can cut this thing off. I promise it is not gonna make a big difference in your sizing if you knock off this border now i already cut these pieces out for us so i'm going to show you just how to put them together and then we're also going to use it to make a large bow today so the small bow is already ready like these pieces are already done you don't have to put these pieces together now the medium the small piece is already good now this is the stuffing piece so you'll just pretty much line up your numbers, one and one, two and two, and then you'll tape. Grab my tape. Okay. One more piece. I'm pretty extra with my tape, y'all. Okay. So that that piece is done. And we gotta put the big piece together. So the same concept. Just put your numbers together and then you'll tape. And this is the big piece. Now, the large stuffing piece you have to put together. So the same thing, just line up your numbers, one and one. And then two and two and three and three. But I'm gonna tape this piece together first. center right okay so that's the stuffing piece now the large bow piece the same concept oops just kidding there we go okay because a lot of people like when they see my pattern they're like uh-uh the medium bow looks bigger than the large bow and i'm like i promise i promise it's not it's just how it was um created i created it into pieces yeah because my pattern this pattern doesn't include any measurements like it has to be printed out Okay. I kind of did that one backwards, y'all, but just line your numbers up. There's definitely no, 
I guess there's no wrong or right way. Just line your numbers up. You could have did it like this, like this, however, whichever one you want to start with first. And that's a small bit piece. So after you put your pattern together, okay, this is the large, this is medium, medium stuff in piece, medium small piece, and then the small, okay. So small bow piece, the small stuff in piece, and the stuff in this, the interfacing y'all. And then this is the big piece. And then the same thing for the medium, medium small piece, medium stuff in piece and then the medium bow and then my large y'all the large big piece the small piece and then the large stuff in piece so okay so i've cut out all of my pieces and my elastic so just so you can see this is the small piece my stuffing and then the big piece. So now I'm going to show you how I fold it. Okay. You would iron this out, but y'all, I'm lazy. So then you will iron right here so you can create yourself a crease. Oops. And then you bring the bottom piece up to your crease, the top piece down to the crease. And this is when you would insert your interfacing. Now you were iron, my bad. You were iron, guys, but I'm lazy. So I just kind of press it with my hands so I can kind of create that crease. And then slide your interfacing in, and then you'll. Bring it back on in there. Okay. And then your iron again. Okay. Now fold it in half. And this is where you are iron again. Iron right here. Because I'm trying to create another crease. So I can bring this side right here in, and then the other side, bring that in. And this is like the part where I get OCD a little bit because I be wanting it to be exactly even. And because I'm not ironing it, like I have to visually remember where my line is, but okay. So, and this is where you would put your elastics and then we're going to go sew. So your elastics will sew right here, sew right here, sew right here, sew right here. And then we'll sew right here. I'm going to show you how to make the middle, the um, small piece. The small piece is what wraps around the bow. It's this piece right here. That's the small piece. So, we'll fold it. This one is kind of like, kind of sort of like a freestyle fold, but I'll typically fold this piece in maybe like halfway of that half, if that makes sense. Like right here. And then down again. And then fold it one more time. And then iron right here. So, now we're going to start sewing. We're going to sew right here and right here. Other side. Uh oh, there it is. Cut. Same thing. Kind of 
kind of yeah, I left the interface out a little bit, but that's okay because I can catch it at the end. Okay. Then line the elastic up. Put it in the center. Now we're going to sew right here and right here. Snip, snip. Oops, snip, snip. Then we'll put my bow back together. And we're going to sew down the center. I get all these extra strands in this fabric work. That's better. So now sew right down here in the center. Snip, 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 snip. Now you can create your bow two different ways. Well, however you want to fold it, you can fold it two different ways. You can fold it like this. This is like ultimately my favorite way. But when I first started, I would do like a tri-fold and I would fold it like three times or make it like this. So that's what it'll look like this way, like that way, or my favorite way. like this so after you decide however you want to fold your bow then you're gonna wrap this around the center and then we're gonna sew right here okay cut off your excess are dull a little bit but that's okay snip snip then you'll take it off and you'll flip it flip it just like this and slide it back on your bow and that's it oh and what I also forgot to include in my pattern y'all add some hot glue to the center hold on I'm gonna show you let me slide this thingy back on Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of play with my centerpiece because I like it to look a certain way. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, what you can do is you'll add some glue. Add some hot glue right here or in the back and that'll pretty much keep this piece from sliding but that's it guys that's how you create a bow using my pattern thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day